are six questions that post tribber heretics cannot answer. Number one, if Matthew chapter 24, Mark 13, Luke 17, and Luke 21 are about the rapture, why is there zero mention of dead saints rising first? Hmm? Number two, how can Jesus be speaking to Christians in Matthew chapter 24 if Christians do not exist till after the crucifixion? Number three, if Matthew chapter 24 is for Christians and not Jews, why does Jesus mention people keeping the Sabbath in Matthew chapter 24, verse 20? In Romans 13, Paul never lists keeping the Sabbath as a command for a New Testament Christian. But if Jesus was speaking to Christians in Matthew chapter 24, why does he mention keeping the Sabbath? Hmm? Answer that one. Number four, if a saved Christian knowingly and willfully takes the mark of the beast, are they still saved? Because post is the lie and say that, well, no true, no true Christian would take the mark of the beast. Okay, let's just say they are saved, they're, they're eternally secure. If they take the mark of the beast anyway, and they know it's the mark of the beast, and they take it anyway, are they still saved? Because Revelation 14, 9 to 11 says that any man takes it, they're damned. So if they know it's the mark of the beast and still take it anyway, are they still saved? Number five, if Paul taught a post-trib rapture, why is there zero mention of the mark of the beast anywhere in the Pauline epistles? Hmm? If he was so big on the post-trib rapture, if he taught that we're going to go into the time of Jacob's trouble, why, is he, why does he not once mention anything about the mark of the beast? Hmm? Answer that one. Number six, if the tribulation is for Christians and not for Jews, why are the Jews mentioned over and over and over again in the book of Revelation, but Christians, Christians are just mentioned a couple times? Hmm? So these are six questions that post-trib heretics cannot answer. You ask them these questions, they cannot answer them because their post-trib heresy is full of holes, full of all kinds of, of contradictions and, and just false doctrine. The post-trib rapture is a very, very satanic heresy. They'll say, oh, it's not a big deal with the timing of the rapture. It's actually a very big deal because the uh, doctrine in these different time periods is different. That's how it works. It's called dispensational theology. And I know it's just, oh, it's such a heresy. No, it's a Bible doctrine. And the pre-trip rapture is Bible doctrine. The post-trip rapture is a satanic heresy. Don't believe it, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a lie from Satan. So these are six questions that these post-trip heretics cannot answer, okay? Thank you for watching. God bless you. Goodbye.